fantasy. I like to call it imaginative realism. It's kind of fancy. It's kind of nice. It's like it's, it also sounds very proper and fine arty. <laughs> because it's like, oh, I'm a fantasy artist. Oh, okay, yeah, you draw like, you know, women with, you know, big things and guys with big muscles. You know, that's very stereotypical. And so I like the imaginative realism thing. So it, it encompasses, uh, to me, surrealism, uh, fantasy, mythology, um, and whatnot. So this style, in, in this style, I tend to be a little, be a little, be a, be a little more photorealist. So I'll use photo references for the anatomy, and uh, you know, for muscle placement, and for light and dark, and to create the three D effect. You know, so the painting doesn't look too flat. Um, and I like a bit to have a story with my art in this in this style. So you know, who is this guy? We don't know. He's got horns. So uh, he's got a cape. Kind of like an old-fashioned Batman, you know? <laughs> but you know, it makes people interpret things. So they'll look at it. Oh, there's a story there. You know, I see this. I see that. And uh, that's kind of—I always like that when they exhibit stuff and people come to me like, "Oh yeah, I see what you tried to do in that painting." And I go, "Yeah, well, okay, tell me what did I try to do?" And uh, they'll come up with a great interpretation. Like, well, maybe I did. You know, I—I I, you know, it, it, actually when I made it, I feel okay. I want to make like you know a nice. 3D shape with some nice shadows, and you know, I'll make it a little more interesting. Put some horns on the guy. And it could be mythical. It could be a minotaur. It could be a demon. Whatever. Um, so that would be one aspect 